Howdy, folks. So I thought I'd come on and talk a little bit about one of the things that I'm kind of figuring out. Um, so, you know, when I had my little mental breakthrough, <laughs> <coughs> what was happening was that I would start, there was one particular thought that I had, um, that felt really good to think because it alleviated a lot of stress, Allevi alleviated some of the, some of the problem. It, it seemed like it. It, 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 it shot some endorphins, right? Like, cause it made me feel like I was, it, the, the, the thought was having a conversation and clearing the air about, about stuff. And like in my head, I was having that conversation and having that conversation in my head made me feel better. <laughs> And I was not feeling well, so it was really tempting to start with that conversation. The problem was that that inevitably would escalate to another uh, to another like rise and the, the yell and, and everything like that, uh, another rise of that. Like it, once that thought happened, that was it. I was gonna there was gonna be a sh I was gonna be shouting in a second. Um, so the way that I was able to sort of start to calm down from it, well, in between, so it was, it was like a, a, a sh like a shot of this, uh, it's not, I, I, I wouldn't, I, I, I kind of don't even think of it as an emotion because it's like. It was just this shot of energy, like overwhelming, that I then had to yell about <laughs> <coughs> to get the, the, the energy out of my system. And then, like, I mean, like, you can imagine if you are so emotionally worked up that you're yelling uncontrollably and jumping up and running to a corner or doing whatever to get rid of the energy that you're kind of upset at that moment right so what what would happen is that would happen and then I would calm myself down and I'd be okay and then my mind would drift out to that thought and boop and it would it that's what kept happening um it wasn't always necessarily that thought, but that was, that was the main one. Uh, so I was calming down on the second day <laughs> and, um, Robin was telling me to, to ha get a replacement thought basically. Um, wow. I can't believe it's been as long as it has since this happened. It does not feel that long. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. Anyway, um, so there's a replacement thought, right? And my replacement thought was like, you're doing a good job. You're, you're doing such a great job. You keep at it. It's hard, but you keep at it. That was my replacement thought. Um, and now, since then, um, there's like, I still have those, just not as many as intense, you know, all in a row, just like every, every few minutes. <laughs> no, I mean like, it's, it's much less than it was. It's much less intense and I can calm down quicker, um, but they are still going off. And it is still a certain thought that tends to trigger it off. But again, that thought feels really good to think. <laughs> That's like, think about me. I will fix the situation. This is how you will fix the situation. It feels really good to fix the situation. And then it just goes to like the moon from there. The key is not to allow that thought. Not to, not to, not, not to allow it, but not to go with it. Right? The thought, the emotion, whatever comes... And I have to think about or, or like refocus myself on something else so that I don't continue down that thought train. 
and it can be really tempting because like if, if I go like you know a couple of hours without doing it which I mean honestly do I go an hour without doing it <laughs> if it's been a little while and I feel calm I'm like okay I can think about that it's fine <laughs> I'm calm now it won't it won't be a problem and then it just goes right back up and it happens every time and every time it happens I remind myself no that happens every time don't don't let it start again. But then the next time comes, and I'm like, well, just this one. <laughs> so I was just talking to my therapist, and, um, you know, obviously she's concerned, but I was talking about how, like, I think this is, this is, this will stop when I've learned, the, when I've learned to deal with it, right? I mean, that makes sense. When I learned the lesson that this is teaching me, <laughs> one of those lessons is disciplining our thoughts right being in charge of where your mind goes so that's a good lesson to learn and i have to practice it even if it's tempting see it's like the per it's this whole thing i mean i know it's like disturbing but it is teaching me so many things that i need to know not even know, but like so many skills, so many, I don't know what to call them. There are lessons that I'm learning, allowing emotions, allowing things to, to be the way they are, not identifying with my thoughts and my feelings. Excuse me. And that sort of thing. While I was talking to my therapist and I said this, I was like, oh, you know, I think once I learned the lesson, they won't be here anymore. And then it dawned on me like, yeah, those, those, those thoughts that I really like to have that lead to the thing, those aren't helping. Those are actually keeping me from stopping it. Like, I want this to stop. I really, really want it to stop. And um, the way I'm going to get it to stop is to stop going with that thought, right? And then see if there are any other thoughts that trigger things. But that's the main one that I'm aware of. Um, so a second ago, not a second ago, just, just before I, I turned this on, um, I had that urge again to, um, to start thinking that thought. Um, and it was like, oh, because it, it's, it relieves, the reason I think it is because it relieves a, a pressure that's building right so i'm starting to put a little a few more things together here um it really is a pressure that's building and so you know it's like like i'm actually sitting there debating with myself whether or not to think this thought <laughs> like i feel so good it just lets a little of the pressure out it's you know it's, 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 it doesn't hurt anything it's like it always hurts something it's not that you know it's like it, it always leads to the other thoughts that make you yell out loud uncontrollably like this stop it <laughs> um but no i'm being much nicer to myself than that except when i yell then i'm, I'm not that nice um but i was like i thought to myself this, this releases pressure this releases some of that energy and then i'm thinking Okay, so it's that energy that I have to deal with. It's not the thought that will help me, you know, relieve that energy. It's like, that's the energy that needs to be dealt with before I go, you know, the full, I don't even know what to call that. Like, just full on, right? So it's that that I have to be aware of. Um, cause it does, it's like, there's this antsy, like, <sighs> like it's, 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 it's anxiety, right? It's anxiety and, uh, self-reproach, self-loathing, that, that fun stuff. Um, and I want to get rid of it. You want to get rid of that. It doesn't feel good. And it feels like getting rid of it. I can get rid of it by thinking this thought and it just fucking, no, but 
what I can do now is when I think, like, oh, I really want to think that thought, I can make myself aware of the energy that's making me want to feel that, not want to think that, you know what I mean? Like, cause I wasn't really, I wasn't really correlating it. Like the desire to think that thought with an increase of the energy, but thinking about it, that's what happens, right? Like I finally get uncomfortable enough that I'm like, I, I need to, I need to release some of this. And that thought helps me release it. But what I need to do, what I am doing from now on, is when that occurs, I'm going to, rather than trying to do something about the feeling by thinking a thought that doesn't help, I'm going to focus more on the feeling and just relax and releasing it. So that's my, um, my thought for right now. It's a nice little... Nice little nugget for you, at least for me. I hope it helps out anybody out there. And that's that. I am grateful for this whole situation, guys. It's it's nutty. And there's lots of part of it that are really disturbing and upsetting. But I'm grateful for it. So I'm going to remind you that I can be grateful for, like, a nervous breakdown. <laughs> it wasn't, guys. It wasn't. It was close, but it wasn't. Um, then you can also choose, always choose to have a grateful day.